In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to export other views uh, by default or even look at them in uh, your reports. So the first thing is, is that let's open up an examination so that way you can see what it is that I'm talking about. Make sure that we're all on the same page. So in <clears throat> this case, I have loaded additional x-rays. So not only do we have, excuse me, postures, not only do I have postures in here, but you can also see that I have pictures of knees and other things that we're not necessarily going to digitize, but we might want to export them um, and uh, manually upload them to our EHR. While I'm in this, um, in this uh, view, I just want to bring your attention to that you can still write comments to your patient. I just put testing comment here and also write pathology notes here as well too. Okay, and you can still use the annotation tools if you wanted to, you know, draw, bring attention to, you know, certain things. Like if I wanted to, you know, bring attention to, um, say, you know, the screws that are in there. So you can, you can do those things. Okay, and you can you can annotate on those just like you can. There's just no actual digitization on the non-spine views that we have. With that being said, if I was going to generate a report, you know, of course I can generate a report here. One of the things that I need to bring your attention to is this view filter. The view filter allows us to pull up any and all additional x-rays. So I'm going to go ahead and select all on both of these. So that way it lists everything that's available. Okay. With that being said, if I generate a report just to show you where these are at, let me go ahead and show that. So in the patient report, if we have that selected, actually, let me, let me start with the impression report here. If we have this selected, and I scroll down, I want to show you that we have these additional views on the impression. They'll be at the end. Okay, so when we get to the end, there's the elbow. Notice that we can put the text right here. Okay, so we can put that text right there. And then if I come in here, under even under the posture. So, you know, of course, you're going to have the posture screen report, but you can write additional information based on their posture views if you load those in. Okay and then you have the additional views okay and there's the arrows as well too because we chose to generate the reports with annotations with that being said in the patient view same thing let's go ahead and scroll down and you're going to see it's in the patient format now so here again we can write comments and text to the patient Okay, so the next thing is you might be asking, well, I want to save just the JPEG image of the DICOM X-ray. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the export feature. So in the main menu, we're going to hit export. Okay, now we will, from this point, we're going to hit views. Okay, I'm going to select all and I'm going to go back into selection. So now if I click on their name, notice that I have the other here. Now, since they're not evaluated, you're gonna manually click other and that will export those additional images, okay? Now I have some others from a different date. If I wanted to go ahead and, and export those, I could go ahead and export those as well too, okay? So now to export to a folder, click folder, What's the location? That's the location that I want to do. Do I want to export any annotations? Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. That's the arrows and circles and things like that. And now when I hit export, it's going to export to that folder in this location. If you need to change the location, just click here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit export. Okay. And then after it's done, it will tell you that it's done exporting the images after it's done writing those files. And you can see up here, file export was successful. So now let's go ahead and look in that folder. If I go into this folder and I'm going to just change the x-ray view so that way you can see a large thumbnails. So you can see that I've exported and I have even the extremities here. 
So the extremities are are there as well too. And you can see the name and thing, and here's the annotations I chose to draw arrows on there, right? So you have had access to exporting everything from that case. And even on a different data service, look, I have a lateral full spine, even on a different data service, okay? So that's how you would export it. Now, currently, um, you can't export directly to an EHR the other views. So what you would need to do if you need other views to show up, obviously the posture screen can push directly to EHRs that are we work with. But if you needed to export these other images, which are uh, these non-spine images, to the EHR, you're just going to manually have to upload them, save them to your desktop just like I did here, and upload them. Okay. So with that said, if you have additional questions, please reach out to us at support at postureray.com. That's how easy it is to export. Just always check that view filter, right? Thank you.